You guys know what this is, right? But did you also know it's a chemical reaction? Here's the formula. Take a fuel, like these logs, or maybe the gas from your family car. Mix in a little bit of air, add a little spark to get it started, and ta-da, fire. Now this reaction turns the logs into ashes and smoke and gives off a ton of heat. Now we humans, we've discovered how to use this heat quite a while ago, and we've been using it to do all sorts of things ever since. We use it to cook our food, we use it to keep ourselves warm in the winter. We use it to make the things that help us live comfortably. We use it to make electricity, and we use it to go places. That's why the motor in your family car is called an internal combustion engine. Combustion is just another word for fire. So you can see that learning how to use fire pretty much got us where we are today. Of course, our success with fire depends on keeping it under control. Because if fire gets loose, real bad things can happen. In the United States and Canada, a home fire breaks out every 80 seconds. A home fire kills someone in the United States or Canada every two and a half hours. Fire is the leading cause of home deaths for kids under 15. Almost half of fires that kill young children are started by kids playing with fire.